Have you ever had any heartbreaks in your time? Oh, many, yeah, yeah. Every, every day. Yes. I know. It's all. It's all just for your fruit. This is my Mel. How you doing, man? You look sharp. You look kind of like twins. You see my uh, snail buddy? I mean. I'm back. Get, get the snail over here. That's awesome. I know. I did. I designed this. Yeah, you should. You should design this braces. Like this, this is. Amazing. This is a no, great business. I've got all sorts of them. I'll show you, man. They're, they're brace buddies for your 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 cat. Brace buddies. Yeah, brace no buddies. No one in Hollywood has ever done. You design these? Where, how do you how do you come up with the concepts? I like to draw, and I create these little creatures. And then a very talented friend of mine who's here tonight. She's uh, Japanese, which. <laughs> I don't know why I bring that up, but she's incredibly meticulous and talented with her, her, her sewing capabilities. And she makes, she turns my drawings into little creatures that are able to be worn. Is anybody able to buy these right now? Yeah, yeah it's funny because they're, they're so hard to make and I'm so like, it's hard for me to part with them. So right now I just sort of give them to my family and friends. But we're, we're talking about like mass producing. We have all, this is just, this, we've got millions. We have snails and dinosaurs and cow skulls and scorpions and... All sorts of things. Very cool. Is, is any of these featured in the movie? They're not. No, I just started doing this with an injury. I had some downtime, so I figured it's time to start making puppets. We make finger puppets yeah. too. Do yeah. <laughs> I need to give it a finger puppet. I got a glove, but I need a finger puppet. People with finger puppets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what's some of the upcoming roles you have coming up? Some projects? Let's see, I'm in uh, the sequel to Alvin and the Chipmunks. I do the voice of uh, Simon the Chipmunk, which I'm shooting tomorrow uh, and sort of finishing my part in that this week. Could you do a little segment right here? It's tricky because it's all manipulated in a computer, so it's like I actually have to talk like this. Like it's very um, slow and over-exaggerated. I'm not doing it justice right now. But, um, and then I'm, I, I go back to work. I'm on a TV show going into my uh, fifth year of, it's called Criminal Minds in a couple of weeks. We can start shooting that again. And I'll be in a wheelchair, I think, for the first first four episodes of that. Until so is this is this part of the scene or is this real? This is real. No, but it actually happened with the gentleman from the movie. Joe and, and Jeffrey and I were having a dance contest, embarrassingly enough. And uh, where, 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 where would you have a dance contest? Some insane Mexican dive bar downtown. It was just so ridiculous. It seemed like a, a perfect opportunity. There was like a, an empty dance floor with fog and like a, a lame strobe light and we were just joking around and doing like really dumb dances and mine ended up being the dumbest of all because it, it's, I'm out for two months. I can't walk on it. So I guess I won the contest, you might say. Well, it looks like you did. You're on the red carpet now. And one more question I have for you. Do you believe in summer love or fall love? I believe in all love. Summer and fall and winter. And uh, what's the other What am I missing? Spring. Uh, every, every sort of love. I got to salute you with a high five, Matthew. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for your time.